Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Gaming. And in this week's show we have a variety of different type of assets from modern low rise living, a post office and not forgetting somewhere to park your car when you go on holiday. So let's go. So let's kick off this week's roundup with some amazing UK thatched houses by Rick4000. Now if you're a Brit like myself or you enjoy the European and British themes, you would certainly have come across Rick4000 before. He does some amazing work, all based around UK sort of buildings. So by all means go and check him out if you're looking for a suitable creator who does UK and European based assets. But anyway, back to these thatch houses, there's a number that he has released recently on the workshop, all in different variety of placement sizes, and you can see from these screenshots here, all in a different type of style of brick and sort of mortar. And the textures that Rick uses with these houses have always been top notch, even in his previous designs. And the way he's actually built these houses really allows you to let your creativity go wild with creating some amazing front and rear gardens. You can pretty much make these as perfect as you possibly want. They've also been designed with the Rico mod in mind, so using this along with all the famous mods like Move It, you can really, really excel with your builds. Next up, we have Mick Crosshill with his boat ramp. And in all honesty, there's not been a lot of stuff on the workshop based around this sort of a theme. There's obviously been the standard platforms etc, but having an actual boat ramp really does add to making things a lot more realistic. And I've also included his recent um, trailer as well, which is a, a great addition to making things look more realistic. And he has done a lot of boat houses, which again is very, very unique and a great idea for a new project. Next up we have a post office, but not just a normal post office, a Ronix special. This is the Japanese post office and my god is it big. Not only big, but the level of detail on this build is absolutely phenomenal and it's not something we we expect less of Ronix. He really does excel when he does his builds and the, the level of everything achieved in this model is fantastic. Just look at it. Now in terms of gameplay, it's a level 2 office and it habits 100 jobs, so it's a great asset to add into any of your cities. And not only that, but you don't have to use it as a post office, the actual model is so good that you can use it for many of other aspects and that's where your creativity really does help when it flows. You can create this into anything you want, um, detailing around it, you can box this in with some fences etc. It really does, does work well. And on that same thought, you can also remove the Japanese signpost that I've got included in this to, to create something different. And I'm also a very huge fan of what buildings look like at night time and look at this. Again, the level of detail, the locations of all the lights, it really does, it, it just looks amazing. Great work again Ronix. Next up we have the police station by Senfcorn. Now it's not been that often that I search the workshop and find the police station that I actually want to use in my city, but this certainly does tick those boxes. As a 4x3 cell size building it certainly does act towards more of a headquarter police station, but what more would you want from a headquarters? This is an extremely nicely modelled version and it gives that modern sort of theme across and again you've got the ability to build around it and use your imagination to perhaps box this area in or you know add a little area to add some police cars etc. The possibilities on this model are endless.
With the mass transit expansion, it was about time we had a decent tram spot model, and I think I found a cracking one from Titan. Now, Titan's released two variations of this modular tram stop, and one of which is just a standard drop down park, which is already built for you. The second is included as a prop pack, and this allows you now to create your own tram stops yourself and use these brilliantly modelled little props to make things look a lot more realistic. So what are you waiting for? Why don't you create your own today? Next up we have the Callaway Golf Shop by Kukes. Now this is a very unique model, not really one that I've seen on the workshop and again it would have been a very good addition to one of my golf courses I made many many moons ago. But not only that, it can also be used in a standard sort of shop environment. It doesn't have to be attached to a golf club. But having said that, there's a lot of shops in the UK where a building like this would be attached to a small sort of driving range where people would then test out their golf clubs, etc. But the building itself is a 3x2 low commercial level 3 with both growable and reco options. So all in all, a fantastic little model to add into your little town or perhaps an addition to your golf course. Now is anyone hungry? Because we have the UK Curry House by Moog. And being a Brit, curry houses are a very traditional place for us lot to go to get some munch and this is a perfect model of what I am used to seeing in my local town and areas. I'm a huge fan of the brick texture here and the graffiti on the side just adds a little bit of character to the building. Gives you that ability to either hide it away against another building or show it off to make it look like it's part of a more run down sort of area. And this being the first model that Moog has actually released in the workshop, this is a great example to set to carry on. Great work and keep it up. Up next we have the Bronick Store by XUSA. Now this model really caught my eye and I think it's the characteristics of this design. And the good news is there will be a future collection release with some houses and stores so by all means look out for that. Next up we have the modern low rise living buildings by Cliquey. Now the building itself comes as a one by one version, just like this one on the right hand side. But what I did find is combining a couple or three in this case together really gives off that modern apartment complex look which does work really well in your modern towns or cities. As expected the detail levels are just as good as the previous models released in the workshop. So if you're building your own modern town or city by all means consider the collection released by Clikey. Next up we have an interesting release and it's the Park and Fly Airport Parking model by King Leno. Now this comes as two parts, you have the modular building and the sign. The modular building itself is a 2x2 two two building and what I love about this is it's left to your own creativity to build your own car parking area which would utilise both of these models. And if you need a bit of inspiration by all means check out King Leno's description for the park and fly he's got some images of a fantastic airport car parking location now talk about dedication but this fantastic model by martin asperlin it took him six months to build and this is his first release on the workshop and my word, what a introduction to himself as a City Skylines creator. Now the model itself is very lifelike, I've actually been there myself in real life and to actually review this model really did bring back some fun memories. But just going back to the model itself, there is four elevated double tracks running east to west. You have four underground double tracks running south and north. And you have the underground double track for the U-Barn. So there is a lot of possibilities for you to really make the most and create a very efficient train station for your city.
And last but not least, he is back. It is Armesto, and this time he has released the St. Peter Square main model. Now I feel like I'm gonna be repeating myself in terms of my comments on this build based on his Big Ben building last week, but look at the detail level. This is incredible. And you'll note that I've included both the actual square and basilica because the two work hand in hand and together they look absolutely beautiful. And for me, it's this final shot that really does excel the greatness of this model. The lighting is absolutely incredible and look how realistic that looks. Another excellent asset by Amesto. So guys, that brings us to the end of this week's asset roundup. As always, please leave your comments below let the creators know your thoughts on their models and give inspiration for new ideas and what you'd like to see next on the workshop. But as for me, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video if you did so. Until next time, all the best.